The next question, Brother Muhammad Arshad from India, he asks, if Allah has written my faith already from birth to death, then why is it my fault if I do any sin? The brother has asked that if Allah has written his destiny, his qadr, then why is it his fault if he commits any sin? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has written our qadr, that is our destiny, before he created us human beings. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has ilm e ghayb, he has knowledge of the unseen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Mulk chapter 67 verse number 2 Alladhi khalaqa al-mawta wal-hayata liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you are good in deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has given us human beings a free will. That if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written our destiny, so if I commit murder, who is at fault? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nauz billah. Because he has written my destiny. If I rob, who is at fault? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nauz billah. But we need to understand, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has given us the free will to do right or to do wrong. And he has written our destiny, that is our qadr. But because we will be choosing something, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written it in advance. And I would like to give you a simple example. If you come at a crossroad, there's road A, B and C. You have a free will to choose any of the roads. You choose road B. Now because you will be choosing road B, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written it in advance. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has ilm e ghayb, he has knowledge of the unseen. Similarly, I would like to give you an example. If a teacher conducts an examination, and the teacher predicts before the examination that student A will get first class first, will get full marks. Student B will get average marks. Student C will fail. The teacher makes a prediction and most of the times the teacher's prediction is right. And after the examination is conducted, the results are out. Student A gets full marks. Student B gets average marks. Student C fails. The teacher knew that student A worked hard therefore he passed the teacher knew that student b did average put an average effort so got average mark the teacher knew that student c did not work hard therefore student c failed can student c blame the teacher saying that because the teacher predicted i failed that student c failed but natural no all of the students had a free will to work hard the teacher knew that student C would not work hard, used to bunk classes, therefore student C will fail. The teacher is a human being. The teacher can commit an error. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has ilm e ghayb, he has knowledge of the unseen. So any action that you do, you are responsible for your actions. So whatever action you do, you are responsible for it. So because you will be choosing something, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written in advance. You have the option of earning through the halal way. You have the option of robbing. You choose to rob. So because you will be choosing to rob, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written it in advance because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ilm-e-ghayb. He has not been unseen.